James. I've been waiting. It's been so long. Didn't you want to see me? Yes, more than anything. You're all I ever wanted. That's not true, is it? Mary? You killed me, James. Yes. I did, I just, I couldn't bear to see you suffer. Don't make excuses. I know how you saw me, how you felt. You really hated me. Didn't you? It's true, I may have had some of those feelings. It was a long three years, I was so tired. I guess I understand. I know I was a burden. I wanted a long, happy life. Something I couldn't give. Can she? Mary, please, if I could... No. James. Those were the last precious moments I had. How could I ever forgive you?
James. James. Is what you've been looking for. Let's go. Do something about that cough. Mary? <sighs> I have missed you so much. <laughs> I've missed you too. We can finally be together, forever. No. James. Honey. What's wrong? I'm sorry. I know you tried. James, please. But she's gone. I know that now. Stop it. And I can't just keep pretending. Shut up! What do you want? Do you even know anymore? I'm yours. I'm here for you. So what if I'm not her? I can give you what she never could. I can be better than her. What else do you want me to be? What else can I be? Hmm? <laughs> I am so sorry, Maria. I really am. But this has to stop. It's time to let it go. <sighs> no. What? I won't let you do this to me. I won't let you go. I can't!
I miss you so much. I tried. I really did, but I can't. I just can't go on without you. I can't forgive myself for what I've done. I know this isn't what you would want. But I guess it doesn't matter anymore. You... You're not here. Are you? Restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. To come and see me. But you never do. So, I wait, wrapped in my cocoon of pain and loneliness. I know, I've done a terrible thing to you. I wish I could change that, but I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it is. The doctor came today. Told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this could be my last chance. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Every time you come to see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Maybe I just disgust you. I'm so sorry. When I first learned I was gonna die, I couldn't accept it. I was so angry. I struck out at everyone I loved. Especially you. And that's why I understand if you hate me. But I want you to know, I will always love you. Even though our life together had to end like this, I still wouldn't trade it for the world. Well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. Which means that as you're reading this, I'm already dead. 
but that's okay. I'm not afraid of it anymore. I just hope the pain will end soon. So that you remember me for who I was. And not what the disease made me. I want 